Okay, so welcome back to the CPRS review video series. The next video I wanted to show you is how to make templates because templates can make your life a lot easier. And you can see that I use a good deal of templates, so my templates are here. If CPRS goes down, God forbid. I hope that that never happens, but that's a horrifyingly bad day. Um, otherwise, you can have a discharge one, I have a medicine consult one, I have an attending daily note. Let me show you how they kind of work. So a template, let's say I'm going to write an attending note, and I can just grab this with my left button of the mouse, just pull it over, and it'll blow in whatever I've specified it to do. So to create a template, what you do is you go up to Options, and you create new template, new shared template, or create new template here if you don't want it shared. Usually you won't create a shared one. And then you can enter in whatever you want. So let's say I want just a lab template, a new lab template. And let's say what I want in this to have is a CBC and a renal panel. And so what you do is you go over to this left side here, and you can go to shared template. So if you want to create your own template, just add stuff. You can add stuff like, I am the attending provider, or I am the intern of note who is awesome and should be called for all rectal digital impactions. So if you want that on the bottom of your note or something like that, you can save it, but I don't know why you'd want that. But if you're an intern, you're probably going to have that on the note implied anyways. But so let's go and erase this. And then what you can do for lab templates, for instance, or things that are shared templates. So this is something that I think is really cool that I wanted to show you guys. So you go here to shared templates, and then you go to patient data objects. So patient data objects, and then patient data objects will be anything like active inpatient meds, and it'll tell you how to blow that into a template. So you could copy this, and then you could put it into this template, and then you could have active inpatient meds there. Now, let's say I want to do CBC, so I'd look for C here, and I would look to see what that one's called, and that's probably just, my guess is, CBC last five. So you grab that, and you copy that, and then you put it into your thing here, and then you want a renal panel. And I don't know if it's called renal or basic metabolic. Let's start with B here. Ah, I found it. It's actually what you'd think it would be called, which is uh, sometimes a little surprising. But renal panel times two. It'll be the last two renal panels. And then you can go here to lab template and paste that in. So this will be active inpatient med, CBC, renal inpatient panel. This can take a little while the first time that you do it, but it pays significant dividends because if you're here a lot, it'll create... It, it'll create a, a template on the left side here. So this should pop up. It should be a new template. Let me go ahead and find it. And it's right where you'd expect it to be, under My Templates, here. And then what you can do is, let me make sure I'm editing this note, and I am. Grab it, pull it in, and what it'll do is it will blow in any active inpatient medications that they're on, including supplies. It'll blow in the last five CBCs in kind of a really difficult to understand manner, and the last renal panels in a difficult to understand manner. So the easiest thing to do would be to go back to that template that uh, here. So the when you're creating shared templates, and the, the shared template area is down here also, so you can go back to patient data objects. Either share templates here or up there where you can do the uh, create new template or edit template and kind of sort through the shared templates to sort out what the most user-friendly version is to make your note look as, as good as it can. But so things in patient data objects that people don't realize that are really useful are things like past medical history, CT scans you can have blown in, x-rays you can have blown in. But I mean, as always with medicine, being having it blown in can make the note a little bit more cumbersome. And make sure that you've read it and you understand it and you get it. Um, you can have your attending physician blown in. Um, so this is really useful. So I recommend going through it and creating templates templates for yourselves to make your lives a little bit easier. And in fact, some templates can even be something as simple as, as your name on the bottom of the note that you just grab and pull over. So this is where Epic uses their uh, dot phrases. Same thing as dot phrases, but this is just called my templates here in the CPRS series. So cool, that's how you create templates. Hope that this helps.